Please, can I see some hands? Who has participated in the election process before? Okay, I'm sure some of you are raising your hand. More important question is, I want to see some hands who never visited a district convention. Can I see some hands? I'm sure there are some hands going up. Here is your opportunity for those who have not visited a district convention before. This will be an inspiration for you to be part of that district convention where we elect our officers. And here is our opportunity to see and also ask questions. So I, will, I have attended one of the conventions where the candidate for an office presents his or her reason and why we should vote for that candidate. After the presentation, the audience, the voters get to grill our candidate. That is the process that I have witnessed. Now, today, the first speaker's presentation follows the format of an officer election process at our district convention. For example, the candidate presents his candidacy and takes questions from the audience. Gopu Shrestha, I always wanted to say, Gopu Shrestha is running for club growth director. I'm so excited, Gopu. Congratulations. And he is running for club growth director for district 106. Gopu has served all district officers' jobs all the way from area director, division director, club extension chair, and club coach chair. Thank you, Gopu, for serving all of us. Gopu is running for club growth director to help clubs in achieving excellence and achieve district missions. Today, Gopu will be presenting visionary communication level three project Connect your audience. Gopu Shrasta's speech title is Serving Clubs, Serving Members. Help me welcome Gopu to the camera and presents his vision for District 106. Welcome, Gopu. Take it away. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. Um, before I go uh, my uh, speech, I would like to invite uh, uh, questions from audience. Uh, Gopu, I have a question. This is Steve Crooks. <clears throat> okay, Gopu, it's a, an exciting thing to be running for this office. I'm very glad to see you running for it. One of the questions that comes to mind is, in your role, you're going to be working with a team of, of division directors. And I wonder how you will be supporting that team in their work to support club growth. Thank you, Steve. So the question is how I am going to help division directors or my team to achieve their goals. First thing, what I would like to encourage them to know what they are trying to achieve, especially aligned with district goal. So the district goal is to build new clubs and support all clubs achieving in excellence. If they understand that core mission, then I will ask them to 
give an opinion what you think about and what are your strength and area of improvement where they can achieve those goals. If I'm able to understand their own opinion, then I will present myself that here I am to help you where you need. This way, not only they will encourage to do what they have as in strength, but they will feel a big support behind them to practice their leadership skills. This way, I will try to help my team to execute their work with confidence and keeping me as a backup to execute. I did it. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Second question. Hey, Gopu, it's Carolyn. I have a question. Sure. My question is for club growth, last year the international director said that they've seen more um, attrition with people not renewing and, uh, you know, clubs folding, et cetera. <laughs> due to the new, and they attributed it to the new pathway system. And I think change is hard for a lot of people. And we all know that the best way to grow a club is to have existing members get new or potential mm -hmm. members excited about joining. How, um, mm -hmm. in what ways have you seen people uh, be excited about the new program and uh, how will you uh, how will you encourage members to use the new program mm -hmm. to promote club growth? Thank you, sir. So the question is how I can retain existing members. Number one, and number two is how I can encourage new members to this Toastmaster program with these new changes, especially pathways. Here is my take. First thing. In order to achieve a member's goal, we have to ensure that we are promoting quality programs. A quality program where it thinks about members' achievement. So if we are not encouraging a positive learning environment with a good uh, supporting system, member is not going to renew their membership because they are not getting there, what they are expecting. So make sure that we are giving quality training to the club officers and practicing those quality things in their own club. That's for renewal. Now to attract a member in uh, who really don't want to change is I would like to encourage situation like this. We never thought about this, that we are going to connect with a phone, with a laptop. Things always change. As a leader, I would always encourage in a positive way that if you want to live our life, we have to change, we have to adapt the changes. One thing would be always remain, remain same is we have to live and that lives to be living in a changing world, especially in a digital world, we have to adapt the change. Now, I don't want to, then we have nothing to do, but if they want to do, then here Toastmaster program comes. The main motto is to create a supportive environment where if they are having challenges, we are here to help. If we create that environment, definitely the resistance will be go low, go low and we will definitely make them change for them by us who are in this area to make their life easy and happy. Go, go, please, Jim Emery. I have a question. Sure, Jim. 
the if you look around <laughs> this virtual room uh, and if you go to most Toastmaster meetings, there are an awful lot of Gen Xers and Boomers, uh, not so many Millennials or certainly Gen Zs. Uh, we're all getting older. Uh, if we're going to keep the membership even static, we need to recruit from that younger generation. So what will you do to attract uh, members out of that younger age market? Great. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Jim. So the question is how I can attract younger generation in Toastmaster programs. Being a father of two millennials, I totally understand what they think and what I am struggling to communicate with them. Being a father, what I understand from them is they are very focused with their career. They are very goal driven generation. So what I did was I asked them, I asked them in a positive way that what do you want to be? And what I came to know that I want to do this. I don't care what you do. So I said, here are 11 path in our Toastmaster programs. They gave only three seconds and read it out and said, I want to go with presentation mastery, the, my first son said. And he, he went on some of the club as a guest and finally he did his presentation in his college, listening that clubs. So the question here is how I can attract. I have friends and I work with millennials and I would like to encourage those millennials to lead speech craft program that will encourage millennials to come and see what is Toastmasters. Second thing, I would encourage all millennials to come to our Toastmaster program to see how we support those kind of goals by practicing in a positive learning environment. They have a lot of challenges. But one thing, they will not get what we Toastmasters do is a goal, uh, is an environment where we only support, encourage to help find their strength and help them to build their confidence. The area where they are thinking they are lacking. This supporting environment with a goal-driven project in Toastmaster program led by millennials might attract to the Toastmaster program and they will bring their own friends in this big team so they can carry forward this one this Toastmaster program. So this is my goal. I've been through this and I am thinking those things in my future leadership. Thank you. Pat. Second. Thank you, Gopu. So I'd like to ask you a question or actually uh, treat me as if I am a human resources director or vice president of a company and you're walking in my door to tell me about Toastmasters and, and why it would be an important tool for their employees and leaders uh, to start a club there. Thank you, Carol. Let's do a simulation here. Hi, Carol. Uh, hi, Pat. Do you have any employee training programs or any uh, programs where you encourage employees to uh, foster or promote or add some skills within your yeah. organization? Yeah, okay. We, I am from Toastmaster and we have those kind of programs in local base. That program will help you to 
encourage your employees to find their voice, find their path, and develop their skills. By employees in an environment where you can, so the employee can find themselves that they can learn by practicing those things which they are thinking that they might need help. Second thing, they might, and they, they might be observing others are doing same thing. So they will encourage to keep coming them. This will be a very relevant and in-house program within your office to help grow your employee for their further career growth. Are you willing to do this kind of program in your premises, helping by us for you, for your organization? I'd like to learn more. Definitely. We will come with our whole team to do a demo meeting to see how Toastmaster works. Is that works for you? All right. Here is our, Jim is our contact person. In your organization, we will contact with, we will be in contact with him and see where and how we can come and help you and your organization to grow. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how many minutes I have, uh, but I can take more questions except two minutes. Uh, so you've taken four now and you've gone over on two of them. So we're probably pretty close on time. Okay. All right. Yeah. Mark's showing a red. Okay. Yep. So uh, I have two minutes more, right? To do your closing statement. Yes. Okay. I have, I want to change my position. So uh, uh, team, please help me with, with position look good. So, okay. Here's my statement. Imagine. Imagine that your club member is going outside and saying that, you know what? I built my confidence and found my way being a Toastmaster. Fellow Toastmasters, my name is Gopu Shrasta and I am running for club growth director to help you, help your member and your club along with achieving the district mission, build new clubs and help and support all clubs in achieving excellence. This is very critical because if we are not able to support our members, they will not renew, which finally end up no clubs in our area. So I am here to help you, your members, your, uh, your clubs to not only survive, but thrive. Because if we able to survive and thrive, not only you will survive, your club will survive, but we all district will be survived. Now, time has come to elect a person who not only think about you, your member and your clubs, but to bring new members, new leaders into the district to carry this mission for our future generation. That including you. Fellow Toastmaster, my name is Gopu Shrasta, running for club growth director. Please vote. Gopu Shrasta. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gopu Shrasta, our future.